What's going on YouTube? This is Rodney with Garecore EDC. And I want to say thank you to each and every one in helping my channel um, in the any sharing or telling someone about it. I'm sure that it's not just that it's a giveaway video, but I've had multiple people share on different platforms and social media and i thank you so much from the bottom of my heart i have gone from 344 subscribers to 397 in about three or four days i think that is just killer that is great so awesome thank you so much and real quick at the beginning of this video so nobody misses it if you watch the giveaway video that is running till Sunday the 21st at noon. You have to enter the code word. Do not leave a comment without entering the code word. I'm giving it to you. You just got to watch the video. Um, or you can read through the comments and you can see what the common word is and that's it. But if you did not leave a code word, you will not be... Or you will not have a chance of winning. And I want everybody to have a chance. It means a lot to me. But I wanted to make it a little, not so much for somebody just to breeze by and find the channel and just enter. Because, you know, it's a giveaway. You know, a lot of, lot of YouTube subs do that or YouTube people do that. I want to make sure that, you know, I, I don't, I just want to give back, give back some love, you know, and, and, you know, it's, it is what it is and I'm rambling and I'm not, I, you know, it is whatever. But anyway, thank you so much. And what I have in the pocket today, today's carry on this 15th. Yeah. Is that what it is? It's the 15th of june wow the the months are just ticking by this is a gorgeous bone handle knife done in damascus bolsters damascus blade centering is is pretty good it's not quite down the center this is a totally handmade knife Stainless steel thumb stud thing rocks open. Nice slicey worn cliff sort of sheep's foot style blade with a beautiful Damascus pattern in it. This is a no name knife. Sure, it was probably made in Pakistan or Israel or somewhere there, but. They did a superb job on this knife. It just feels so good in hand. The palm swells. It just it is a thick knife, but it just feels so great. The action on this is slick. I mean it it's not drop shut because it's not running on bearings, but it's there is no detent on that. You know, you could you could gravity flick it. It has brass liners on it, which we pretty much have 101% line lock, liner lock, um, with a very well done, which goes from the blade. Can you see the blade there? The Maltese crosses that goes from the blade into a polished spine that goes all the way around and wraps around the end of the knife. Now that is stunning. This knife, you know, a lot of work and thought went into this and the scalloped grooved bolsters and the lines on each side, everything is just so gorgeous i'm not 
really keen on the brass liners because you know they wear out and they are what they are. They're not the most rigid. Is this a hard use knife? Of, of course not. But it's definitely a, a showpiece. You know, it's got this stag horn. Don't know if that's burnt jigged deer horn or bovine cow bone or, or what it is or camel bone. I, 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 I could care less. But the details on this, I mean, those crosses are just gorgeous. They did, I and mean, everything is just so smooth, and there's no proud spots on it. This is one that will never leave my collection. It's on me, and you see I got it good and old up with some lube in there. Um, but yeah, then you can, you know, I, I showed you where the, I like the way the crosswork goes from the blade. You can see that when it goes and connects to the spine, the backspacer of the frame, that the transition point is perfect where it goes from the Damascus to the backspacer. It's like the same pattern. I mean, it's very, very well done. You know, my hat goes off to the man or a woman that fabricated this. You can see I got a little bit of oil seeping from it. Because I just did lube it up. You know, with Damascus, you have to keep, um, especially when it's made with 1095 and 15N20 uh, or whatever the various grades are, because they are not rust proof, they will rust. Um, this pattern, I'm not real familiar with what pattern of Damascus this is. It might be a a ladder pattern or something of the sort, but it's it's very pointy and very slicey. And the action is just, it doesn't take much effort of a thumb flick to fly open. And if it was on Barron's, it would just drop shut. I'm really, I don't know if I, you can almost shake it shut, but not quite. There's a little tight spot right here at the end. And I don't know if it was meant to be that way, so, you know, it wouldn't necessarily f fall open in the pocket. Um, I wish it did have a detent on it, and this is one that I can possibly take apart. I know a lot of times the uh, these style knives, you can take the liners off, and I'll show you this one. You know, you have the Damascus side of scales, and then you have the brass parts inside, and you know, granted they're marked one and one, and and so forth, but they're staked together. They're pinned and swedged over with brass pins on both sides. Um, so to change a blade or to modify it to where it would have bearings or change the liners out i would i would have to disassemble the knife and i'm going to do that with a couple of them actually that one that i have apart this one here i'm going to be doing some playing with and changing it around and seeing how i can modify it um and maybe a couple others but this one here i am going to leave as is i just like it i like the way it is i like that action there's no blade play no no lock rock it's it's solid you know it's side to side there's the action is great this is definitely a uh, sleeve or sheath style knife. I am in the process of trying to not find a nice little sleeve for it um, just to keep it safer in the pocket per se. And this is, would be more of a, for me, more of a back pocket knife than a front pocket knife. It is heavy. It, it feels, I'm, um, it's, I guarantee it's at least six ounces, maybe more. Um, I'd say at least at least six, and it's nowhere near balanced. You know, it's not a balanced knife. It's all the weight is is here. The blade is very minimal, so the weight is in the frame and the bone and the the back spacer. But it's just it's just it's just gorgeous. I mean, look at that. 
I mean, I've always loved Maltese crosses, and it's I just can't get over how well. And as a machinist, I'm thinking to myself, you know, somebody sat and you know, I don't know if they laid this out, how they did it, you know, file work and you know, engraving and they did such a good job and I, I wish, you know, I bought this, it's been, um, uh, it's over 10 years I've had this and I got it on eBay from a seller. I might have his, him still saved in my store thing that I have in the, in my eBay app, but he hasn't listed any more knives. I want to say I got this from an English gentleman, um, it come from England, but I don't know if it was made in England. Wow, it's it's heavier than I thought. It's 7.26 ounces. For such a small knife, that is a heavy footprint. But you know, like I said, in a slip joint in the back pocket next to my wallet or in the opposite pocket, I, I'm a big guy. I wouldn't notice seven and a quarter ounces. Um, and, and big knives are not... You know, they don't really bother me. Um, 205.7 grams. So, it's it's got some weight to it. You know, it is it is a, a beefy knife. But, I, I mean, still, look at that. I, I'm going on and on about it, but I am amazed. And the the action is just so sweet and smooth. Not to have any kind of, uh, now granted it looks gooky in there, but that's because I got grease and oil and it's just a natural. I need to really blow this thing out and then re-lube it. And, you know, I haven't cleaned this one apart. This is one that I don't take apart. I've never took this knife apart. There's no need to. Um, you know, blow it out, keep it clean, and that's it. You know, is there a lot of channels in there for stuff to get caught and dirt in there? Yeah, I'm sure there is. Um, but again, you know, it's it's something you know, here or there. But I, I just can't. I mean, look at that. Look at that. I mean, the, the spine work. Now, I think 10 years ago, give or take, I think I paid about $70 for this. And some people might say, wow, you got a deal. Or some people say, man, I can't believe this guy's going over this much and acting this excited about this cheap knife. But, you know, to each his own. Um, this is a fine, this is a piece of art. This is a piece of art. So that's what I had in the pocket today. Again, if you watched the video yesterday, um, for the giveaway that's going to be ending on Father's Day. So it's the 350 slash Father's Day giveaway. And granted, you didn't got to be a father to win it. You females alike. Um, I know there's a lot of females out there that are the father presence in the home because the father's not around. And the same thing that there's fathers taking care of children because the mother's not around. But, um... Yeah, make sure you go back to that video and leave that code word. Watch the video again if you didn't get it, or look in the comments or whatever you want to do. Leave a comment with that word, or you will not have a chance of winning. I hope you all have a blessed, awesome day. Please be safe out there, and with all this mess in this crazy world, be it COVID or rioters, or political this, political that, whatever the case may be. Be safe and keep that edge right. This is Rodney with Gear Core EDC. Bye now.